What's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about sex, gender, and sexuality. This is a huge topic, but we will journey in tackling important issues on human sexuality and gender. So let's start. Okay. Okay, so let me ask this question. When filling out a document such as school registration form, you are often asked to provide your name, address, phone number, birth date, and have you ever been asked to provide your sex or your gender? And as with most people, it may not have occurred to you that sex and gender are not the same. Hmm, ikaw. Do you know what is the difference between sex and gender? Hmm? Sige. Sex refers to physical or physiological differences between males and females, including both primary sex characteristics, the reproductive system, and the secondary characteristics such as height and muscularity. Um, this is also referred to as a biological sex or physical sex. So the term generally pertains to your identity depending on your sexual anatomy and physiology. And sex typically determined by examining your genitals. Okay? So among humans, sex is often assigned at birth. So if the child is observed to have a penis and testicles, then the child is categorized as a male. If on, on the other hand, the child is observed to have a vagina, then the child is categorized as a female. Okay? So, um, miss, what if the baby has both organs? Okay? So, there are cases when, uh, when the baby's genitals appears to be a mixture of male and female organs, then um, a series of tests will be done to evaluate the baby's genitalia. And using the information gathered by the doctor, so um, the doctor may suggest a gender for the baby. And um, in some cases, a family may make a decision within a few days after the birth. And sometimes, gender assignment can be complex. Okay? And um, parents should be aware that as a child grows up, he or she may make a different decision about gender identification. Okay. And in humans, each cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. Okay. So 22 of these pairs called autosomes look the same in both males and females and arita mag differ sa 23rd pair. Okay. The sex chromosomes. Okay. So, females have two copies of X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosomes. Okay, so let's talk about gender, okay? Gender is a term that refers to social or cultural distinctions associated with being male or female. And there are many ways um, gender is manifested, okay? And although... Um, Deeply rooted, gender roles can be changed over time since social values and norms are not static. Okay? Um, once parents are aware of their child's sex, which is the male or female, during ultrasound or birth, they automatically attach social and cultural meanings to their child's sex. Diba? And as soon as the baby arrives in the family, adults surrounding the baby manifest their social interpretation of the baby's sex. For example, um, the baby is a boy, so it manifest nila or ilang tagaan o color blue na um, clothing, ang color sa iyahang room is color blue, and if a baby girl, di ba, color pink, tagaan din o pink na ribbon, pink na headband, Ang crib sa baby, ang color is color pink, okay? So, basically, the moment the baby is born, parents and relatives pick the names or toys based on their um, interpretation of the baby's sex. Diba? Um, for example, um, si Maria. Kung Maria ganit ka, babae, juka. Kung Mario, lalaki, okay? 
diba? Oh, can you give more examples? However, there are people who do not follow uh, follow culturally accepted standard of masculinity and femininity. For example, there are girls who do, um, don't want to wear dresses or boys who doesn't want to play rough sports. Okay? So can you give me another example? All right. How we express our gender is largely based on our social and cultural setting. Each culture also has different standards on how to be a man and a woman. They should present themselves according to their sex and gender. Okay? So let's put it this way to distinguish the difference between sex and gender. Um, sex is more biological and um, gender is social or cultural. Okay, let's proceed. Um, this is a comparison between sex and gender. Okay? So this is just a summary. So sex is um, biologic, has biological characteristics that includes genetics, anatomy, and physiology um, that generally defines humans as male or female. Okay? So note that um, these biological characteristics are not mutually exclusive. However, there are individuals who possesses both male and female characteristics. And while gender is a um, socially constructed set of roles and responsibilities associated with being girl and boy or women or men, and in some cultures, a third or other gender. Okay? So in gender, there can be man, woman, masculine, feminine. And in sex, the um, sex are born with. Gen while gender is not born with, sex cannot be changed except with the medical treatment. Gender, although deeply rooted, gender roles can be changed over time. Okay, next. So sex is universal, no variation from culture to culture or time to time. While gender, gender roles vary greatly in different societies, cultures, and historical periods, as well as they depend also on socioeconomic factors, age, education, ethnicity, and religion. Okay? Um, example of sex. Only women can give birth. Okay? Only women can breastfeed. So another example in gender is the expectation of men to be economic providers of the family, and for women to be caregivers is a gender norm in many cultural contexts. Na, sakto na? Diba? Kumuana juta na ikaw man ang husband, so ikaw ay provide sa family. Okay? While women are um, left at home para mag-take care sa mga anak. However, women provide um, proof able to do traditionally male jobs as well as men. So, um, men and women can do housework. Women and men can be leaders and managers. Diba? Because we are shifting. Okay? Gone are the days na ang mga um, na walay house husband. Karon na house husband. Diba? Gone are the days na ang mga babay is nara sa balay. Okay? Karon pwede na ang babay magbuhi sa pamilya. Diba? Next. Gender identity. Okay. So, how do you see or express yourself? Okay. Are you a, a lesbian, a gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex, queer or questioning, asexual or an ally? Okay. Ah, um, have you ever thought about yourself? Ako ay man ko, um, bisexual, ganyan ko babae, ganyan ko blacky. Okay? Ganyan ko both, um, male, both male or females. Diba? So, how do you see me and express yourself? And let's proceed. So, gender identity, um, one aspect of our gender is our sense of who we are. Okay? Gender identity typically refers to how we identify ourselves. However, there are cases wherein a person's biological sex does not align with one's gender identity. Okay? People with this experience are also referred to as transgender. 
So, transgender people may undergo gender reassignment surgery to align their physical characteristics or to their um, gender identity. Diba? Makadungog ta na, I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. So, jackpot! Ganon. Diba? <laughs> okay. So, isn't um, sexual orientation is an aspect of our gender that pertains to our emotional and sexual attraction to a person. And um, our research shows that at age 6 or 8, we experience or develop attraction to other people. And by adolescence, we already know who we are attracted to and would experiment through dating and relationships. Okay? So, this here are... Um, Asatama attracted. Okay, so heterosexuals or straight people are attracted to opposite sex. While homosexuals, the gay or lesbians, are attracted to the same sex. And bisexual or bi are attracted to both sexes. Okay, one at like silahis, na, lang ni ingon, lang ni mention. Ganan siya bubay, ganan siya siya glaki. Okay, next. So, gender equality versus gender equity. Equity leads to equality. Do you agree with that? Hmm? Equity means that there is a need to continue taking differential actions to address historical inequality among men and women and achieve gender equality. Okay? In gender equality, it is the state or condition that affords women and men Equal enjoyment of human rights, socially valued goods and resources, and allowing both sexes the same and potential to contribute and benefit from all spheres of society, whether it could be economic, political, social, and cultural. Okay, so an example of this is this one. A family has limited funds and both the daughter and son need new pair of shoes for the new school year. But only one can get new shoes this year. If the family decides which child will get the new shoes, it is based on the child's need and not on the child's sex. Diba? So, both um, the son and daughter, tagaan og chance na tagaan og new shoes, and it's based on the need. And dili kung babay siya paburan or laki siya paburan. Okay? Gender equity is the justice and fairness in the treatment of women and men in order to eventually achieve gender equality, okay? Often requesting differential treatment of women and men or specific measures in order to compensate for the historical and social disadvantages that prevent women and men from sharing a level playing field. For example, provision of leadership training for women or establishing quotas for women in decision-making positions in order to achieve the state of gender equality. Diba? Because sa una, pero may mag, kisa may mag-decision-making. Diba? Lucky. Okay? But for now, we are given the chance, women are given the chance, okay, to establish quotas for decision-making positions. Alright? So, okay. So, let's proceed. Next. Transgender versus um, transsexual. Transgender refers to those um, people who live permanently in their preferred gender without necessarily needing to undergo any medical intervention. While transsexual refers to people who identifies entirely with the gender role opposite to the sex assigned to at birth and seeks to live permanently on the preferred gender role. Transsexual people might intend to undergo and uh, undergoing or have undergone gender reassignment treatment, which may or may not involve hormone therapy or surgery. Next is appreciating diversity. So, according to American Psychological Association, nature and nurture play a complex role in shaping our sexual orientation. Diba? Sexuality and in, um, heterosexuality are part of the human sexuality and is a large part of human experience. And um, these are some terms okay, that we know of. Homo is an 
outdated term to describe a sexual orientation in which a person feels physically and emotionally attracted to people of the same gender. Diba? Heterosexual is a sexual orientation in which a person feels physically and emotionally attracted to people of a gender other than their own. Diba? If man atag bayot or tumboy, homo, ay tawa. We sometimes um hear those um hear that word in movies, makaraan movies. Okay. Identifying as a heterosexual, lesbian, bi, gay, or transgender is a deeply personal process. So it may be more difficult for others to come out or for them to become um, comfortable enough with their sexuality, then they feel safe to share it with other people. So, um, according to Psychological Association of the Philippines, PAP, we can only truly tell if the person is gay, lesbian, or bisexual if, if the person shares with us his or her experience and feelings of attraction towards them. Okay? That is why it is very important for everyone to feel safe as they share their sexuality since it's a personal and sensitive topic. Um, let me share with you this one. Uh, it's very difficult for a child, especially sa mga teenagers, no, na to come out because they are um, still in the process of identifying their gender. And we should not, as much as possible, label them, okay? Because it's a personal process. We cannot label a person as unsay gud na siya, okay? Ay, bayot man na siya. Ay, kuan man na siya. Tumboy man na siya. Diba? We should not do that because it's, it's a personal, it's personal level, okay? We cannot pinpoint or we cannot label others because of what we see and because of what we experience. Okay? Next. Gender and sexuality as a subject of inquiry. So why should we study gender? Gender studies as an area of knowledge is about looking into, analyzing, and examining society so that we notice power relations in the seemingly simple things. So, so many mga simple things. So, simple things are the issues in our everyday lives. Okay? Gender um, studies helps us see the issues in our everyday lives through a different lens. Um, this emerged from the need to analyze how gender, sex, and sexuality impact our lives, especially how it creates gender inequality. Okay? Gender roles or sex roles are a set of culturally defined behaviors such as masculinity and femininity. And um, gender studies is not just for women or all about women, it is about everyone. Diba? In a binary system of viewing gender roles, we only see the male and female, where men are expected to be masculine. Dapat strong. Diba? Kung lucky ka, Dika milak, tapat isuka, ba? Ana. While women are expected to be feminine, okay? Dapat prim and proper, ba? Mahinhin, ba? Um, this is the norm or the accepted standards of how to behave, okay? In in toward in our society, okay? In gender studies. We are asked to disrupt and question these kinds of social expectations, gender roles, and um, gender norms. So, um, this also explores how our gender roles changed throughout our history and how it created inequalities. Diba? Um, years ago, women are not allowed to study and they are just left at home. Magluto, maglimpyo, magbantay sa bata, ba? What else? What else can you um? What else can you share? An example. Okay, our society has changed so much 
and the jobs are available for everyone. And it's not only about um, kung strength, about ng sa mga laki, okay? kung sa mga mahinhin na mga buhaton para sa babae. Okay? Um, the jobs available for everyone is not so much dependent on strength, making these jobs accessible to women as well. Diba? Okay. Diversity and inclusion. So, gender roles are socially constructed and are not something that we are born with. Diba? This, um, this was mentioned ganina. Um, society, through a lifelong process of normalization, encourages or recommends behaviors to make a child adapt to these social expectations. For example, a young boy is encouraged to play rough and that shows um, a sign of weakness. Well, a girl, a young girl is expected to be gentle and soft. Diba? What are other norms can you think of? Um, a famous quote that we see or hear, Real men don't cry. Toom ana. Do you believe? Or before, girls are meant to wear dresses and not pants. Diba? If a child does not follow these gender rules, they are reprimanded by parents, relatives, friends, or anybody that they interact. That is how gender norm is forced upon an individual. And it is a lifelong process of normalization. Can you um, cite an example? na mga social norms, social, uh, mga gender norms, mga gender stereotypes. Diba? Um, sige, let's proceed. Okay. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people often do not fit in the traditional binary gender rules. So, they are often reprimanded, bullied, and discriminated. They are often subjected to violence and hate just because they do not fit in what society calls, calls normal. And as a subject of inquiry, gender studies utilizes a systematic approach in identifying these problems, making hypotheses, assumptions, gathering data, and making conclusions. This systematic process is referred to as a research process. Okay? So there are two, diff um, two approaches in research. Qualitative approach focuses more on the meanings created in interpretations made by people about their own personal or observed experiences. For example, um, if you want to know how women, men, or LGBTQ live their lives on a daily basis and how they make sense of their life, um, lived experiences, then we do the qualitative approach. And um, quantitative approach focuses more on char um, characterizing a population. For example, a total number of individuals in a group and um, a sample, a subgroup within the population. And in some cases, some uh, making generalizations about the population based on the behavior of a sample. Okay. For instance, if you want to know how many people, um, how many Filipino adolescents are engaged in a romantic relationship or how many of them still believe in marriage, then a quantitative approach is appropriate. So, um, in summary, gender, being male and female, has socially constructed meanings. And... It is different in every culture and may change with time. And it is important to analyze how society enforces gender roles on everyone so we can further understand gender roles and promote equality. For us to have a holistic view, we need to use frameworks and methods from psychology, sociology, medicine, and law. And in light, with our lesson for today, um, gender is complex. It is social and legal status, and we see behaviors and characteristics of others. Um, each culture has a standards of how people should behave based on their gender, 
um, but what there, um, but what matters most is how we should or how we should show respect to others. Okay, so we whether they are um, male, we, whether they identify themselves as male, female, transsexual, bisexual, gay, lesbian, we are all human beings. We all have feelings and we should respect each other. Okay? Uh, so that would be all. Thank you for listening and please check the activity found in the Google Classroom. Thank you and have a good day.